What's up, Critique Crew? We are back and we are in full effect every Wednesday for What's Up Wednesday as we just vibe and catch up with each other and find out what's going on in your life and in my life too. And also on Sundays for our spiritual connection as we vibe spiritually so we can become our highest best self together. I hope you guys are excited as I am and I look forward to seeing you then. Looking for the flaws here, is it what was thought? Maybe they flying on here, him wishing death to me, but couldn't be the Paul Bear. So they bear witness, I'm a hand on my business, got my hand on this vision, a mission to make a difference. The kitchen ain't hot as I am in, and I do the dishes. Do it, I built the British that bring the fruit to fruition. Once I started, I finished, no matter how long I fall, the truth be said. I go, I know you probably don't really know me yet. So I go inside, don't push it out. I built a bomb and I'm taking to put it down already. I didn't have preparation. Why you think I'm impatient? Instead of sitting here waiting to have my feet on the pavement, I'ma savor them days that you were gazed in amazement. Later, remember the same conversation. Cause, Cause we keep on grinding. And I'm saying that's no matter what life pitch batter up. And we keep on thriving. If you started from the bottom, ain't no matter cause you got it. Oh yeah. We keep on climbing. Till you make crew. Happy Resurrection Day. I am so excited to be back with you guys again today. And this is Resurrection Sunday, our spiritual connection day. And y'all, when I tell you that I've been praying, and I'm just excited, first of all, to be back. It's been a few Sundays since I've been here. Um, if y'all see my What's Up, uh, What's Up Wednesday um, video the other day, I um, was just kind of letting you guys know where I've been. Well, I mean, today, y'all, as I've been seeking the Lord for us a word. I, I had my own, just like we often do, we always have our own things that we wanted to talk about. I know for me, I wanted to at first talk about um, by it being resurrection, it's easy to talk about the crucifixion. You know, Christ died for us and was resurrected, you know, three days later. And I wanted to just kind of dive into, you know, his last moments, you know, when he said it is finished and he gave up the ghost and he and he came and he went on to 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 glory as he came back for us to let us know that he is here he is with us and so I wanted to talk about that and then I wanted to talk about Lazarus you know being uh, Jesus resurrected him from the dead come on when he said Lazarus come forth after being in the in the tomb for days come on now um so there were so many different points that I wanted to talk about but God has his own plan. And um, when I surrendered all, I said, well, Lord, what is it that you wanted me to talk? To? What did you want to bring through? to our people, to the critique crew, to every heart and mind that is watching. And he is saying to me, sober up, y'all, sober up. Come on. It's like, what, Lord, sober up? What do you mean by sober up? I mean, are we talking about people out here drunk and high and doing all kind of crazy things? And he said, well, yeah, that too, that too. He said, but sometimes we just need to be sober in our spirits, in our minds, in our focus. Being sober is, is, is simply being vigilant, being awake, being clear, right? Being alert. And when and when God was saying to me, he said, I want our people to be alert in this season, in this time of their lives. We have to be more alert. We need to be more clear. We need to be more focused than we ever have been in, 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 in history. I mean, from the things that we've been dealing with, from the COVID, the pandemic, come on, y'all. I mean, we just getting out of the pandemic. We're still in the pandemic. What you talking about? We're still in this thing, right? And, and, and that took a whole, I mean, it shut down the whole world. 
world where we all had an opportunity and the chance to what? Sober up. Some of us sobered up. Some of us got healthy. Some of us got more disciplined. Somebody got refocused on their family. I mean, we did a lot of work during this pandemic. I mean, I've been hearing pandemic stories of triumph and overcoming and, and people saying, wow, even though this was hard, even though, you know, I might have lost somebody or, or I know people who have lost somebody, I found myself during this pandemic. I, 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 I got a new perspective during this time because we all had time to ourselves. We all had time to pray. We all had time to just stop for a minute, just cut it out for a second, to sober up. So guys, y'all already know, before I get, because this is already a word already, but before we get in there, let me, let's look at the scripture. It was the first Thessalonians um, that God had given me um, to our passage for us to uh, read out of. It's first Thessalonians 5, 1 through 10, okay? First Thessalonians 5, 1 through 10, and we also have 1 Peter 5, 8. So let's start with 1 Thessalonians 5, um, which says, But concerning the times and the seasons, come on, concerning the times and the seasons, brethren, you have no need that I should write to you. For you yourself know perfectly that the day of the Lord so comes as a thief in the night. For when I say peace and safety, then sudden destruction comes upon them as labor pains upon a pregnant woman, and they shall not escape. But you, brethren, are not in darkness, so that this day should overtake you as a thief. You are all sons of the light and sons of the day. We are not of the night or nor of darkness. Therefore, let us not sleep as others do, but let us watch and be sober. For those who sleep, sleep at night, and those who get drunk are drunk at night. Come on now. But let us who are of the day be sober, putting on the breastplate of faith and love, and as a helmet of hope of salvation. For God did not appoint us to wrath, but to obtain salvation through our Lord Jesus Christ, who died for us, that whether we take or whether we are awake or sleep, we shall live together with him. Father God, we come to you. Great God, we come to you. To thank you, Lord, for this word. But thank you, Lord, for just being here and being in the atmosphere, in the presence, and just changing the dynamic into the trajectory of our very being. We ask, Father, if we may, that this word that we receive today will be life-changing, that will remove yokes and bondages off of our lives. And as this word is coming through me, Father, remove all of me, all of my nerves, all of my anxieties, all of my fear, and just show up mighty in my life. And just touch every heart and every mind that is watching this video right now, Lord, and we just thank you for your word in Jesus' holy name. Amen. Amen, y'all. Amen. Okay, y'all, so as we were getting into this and as I have been just doing some studying on sober, um, just being sober and what God was saying to me about being sober, God wanted us to stay in Remembrance. Have you ever had a, a period where you maybe you drank too much? Come on, you had a little too much wine at the party. You know, you had a little bit too much to drink, and 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 you woke up the next morning in your own bed in your own home, but just kind of looking around like, what 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 happened last night? I mean, what where where what what I need to recall the things that I said, the things that I did, and hopefully that I didn't make a fool out of myself. Come on and drink. In this. And and, I, and Jesus is saying, I feel God on this saying, you know what, these are the type of things that we have to avoid. Because I, I've had a drunken night. I mean, don't I ain't even gonna lie. I've had a couple drunken nights, okay, in my day. And it is nothing worse than you can't find your keys, you lost something, you don't know what happened, you don't know what that is the worst thing, and have to hear about what happened to you. From somebody else. Come on now. 
And I feel the Lord is saying in this season of your life, you have no time for that type of shenanigans and that type of foolishness. You have to be sober because, come on, First Peter, let's get into First Peter. Come on, First Peter. What First Peter say? Because I was getting ready to go there where Peter at. Uh, it says, First Peter 5, 8, be sober. Be vigilant because your adversary, the devil, walks about like a roaring lion, seeking whom he may devour. God is telling us, be sober. Because, see, your enemy is out there. If you are caught slipping, and, and then things are going to happen to you that are out of your control. I mean, we already live into a real world where things just happen to us anyway. But things can really go bad if we are not being clear, if we're not focused, if we're not sober in mind. We don't want to be at a place where we're making mistakes and we're talking to people crazy and we're ruining relationships. Come on, ruin relationships. I mean, being sober is not just being drunk, people. We can be, we can be a, a drunk in our emotions. Come on, drunk in your feelings and drunk in your emotions where you just allowing that thing to take over where you can't even see reason. Have you been so angry and so mad where people say they so red? I mean, they just commence to, you know, doing some, some violent act or acting in a way that is contrary to who they are because they allowed their, emo to be, their emotions to overtake them. They were drunk with their emotions. They were overcome with their feelings. Have you ever gotten to your feelings so bad that you just, you reacted in a way that you wish that you hadn't? Come on, drunk in your feelings. The Bible is saying, God is saying, listen, in this season of our lives, we need to be sober because our adversary is walking around like a roaring lion seeking whom he may devour. So if, in order to keep our relationships healthy, in order to be able to make right decisions, we got to be sober. And how do we be sober, Key? How, how do I stay sober? Well, first of all, we got to keep our mind on the higher things. We got to stay plugged in with the word of God. We have to be able to have positive affirmation. I mean, constantly feeding ourselves positivity and encouragement. We need to surround ourselves around people that are going to encourage us, that is going to keep us uplifted when we're having a moment. Come on. That's going to say, ah, 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 don't do that. <laughs> don't say that. With all the talking things that's going on about this Will Smith uh, slapping Chris Rock, you know what a what what a place of of drunkenness where he was out of control. But we all have been there. That's an unfortunate experience to be able to lose control that way, to be overcome with emotions and feelings that you're not even thinking straight. Come on. What's up, guys? I am dropping in and right in the middle of our video just to take a pause to say thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you liked our vibe. I hope you like the content that is going on over here. And because if this is your first time here, I hope you would consider becoming part of the Critique Crew family by liking, giving me that thumbs up. Okay, that's how you like. By commenting, typing something into that comment section so I can hear from you. Say new subscriber here. Let me know where you're from and give me some input, some feedback. And also subscribe, hit that notification bell so you will be notified every time a new video is uploaded. So, that's all. Thank you for watching. Back to the program. We got to be sober in this season because the enemy was after him that night. Here he is getting winning an Oscar, has worked his whole life and worked hard. I follow Will Smith's career. I'm sure a lot of us have and seen how well that he has conducted himself and how well spoken he's been and, and how invested he has seemed to be within his family. And, and, and his love for God. I mean, this is a man, he's not out here profane and, and provocative and, 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 and crazy. 
And all of those things and all of these emotions at some point of, of, of maybe not dealing with things properly. Because sometimes if we're not dealing with things and issues that's going on inside of us, we become overcome with these feelings and emotions. This drunkenness starts to take over and then we caught slipping out here. The next thing you know, we're slapping people on live TV in front of millions of people. The Bible says be sober, be vigilant because your adversary roams around like a roaring lion. That means we got to be careful. We got to have a harmonic type of flow. We got to constantly be reminding ourselves of what is most important. Y'all, this is a serious season for us, for all of us who are working on, you know, bettering ourselves, because that's what we do over here. If you're watching this video right now, then your goal and your primary mission in life is to be your highest best self, because that's what we do over here. We're critiquing ourselves. We are looking in inwardly and we're looking at ourselves, you know, and with uh, taking our rose colored glasses off and stop pretending we're taking off our mask. We're showing up all authentically. Okay, we're getting rid of being disingenuous. We're getting rid of, you know, the fake and the phony because life is real. We only got one time around this thing. And so being sober in this season, being able to see clearly, being able to remember the mission. Come on, let's remember Jesus. Let's remember what he's done for us. Let's remember. And the only way we can remember correctly is if we stay sober. If we stay focused in on the higher things. The things that are above. We can't stay down here. We can't stoop to people's level. Will Smith got overcome. He got overcome with emotions. Something triggered in him. Something that was already hurting and something was already wounded. And whatever happened between him and Chris, the, the comment that made it set him off. Because he was already drunk. He was already tipsy. Come on, tipsy. We're already tipsy with emotion. And when you get a little tipsy with it, and all it takes is one little more sip, one last thing, one more thing that can put you right over the edge. Come on, y'all. Let's be sober. Let's help each other to be sober. Let's check on each other. Let's really check on each other. Our mental health is at war right now. The battlefield is right here in this mind. This is where the enemy comes for us. He comes for us in our mind. But what we think and what we feel. What I want, think and feel. Me, me, I, 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 I want, I think, I feel. Those, these, that's the soulish nature of us. That's this flesh talking. But our spirit inside is a lot stronger if we feed it. If we feed our spirit, the answer to everything in your life, every question that you have is right here. Right here. This is the answer. Sober. Let's be sober in this moment. Let's be sober with our, our, our because our feelings and emotions is already intoxicating enough, isn't it? I mean, we could get intoxicated real quick. Just meeting somebody, we can be overcome with intoxication. Like, whoa, baby. Come on, y'all. Haven't you met somebody or seen somebody where your whole body was just like, whoa, oh, yes, intoxicating. But the, the Bible said, let's be sober. Let's, let's check that thing. Let's have right discernment. Because we got the, we have to check the, what we're feeling with the word. Like, does it line up? And Galatians, uh, Galatians 5, 19 through 21 is talking about drunkenness and, and, and excessive behavior. Any, anything that we do, anything that's too much of it, too much of anything is not a good thing. Come on, Lord, come through. Too much of anything is not a good thing. We can we can have a little wine if, if, if God allows you, if that's not against what, what he's speaking to you about. Because I believe we all have our own sins. We all got our own demons. We got our own things that we have to fight. What what would the sin to you may not be sin to me, okay? If you, it, it, things that God has spoken to you, because the things that God speaks to us individually is what resonates in, in our lives. 
Okay? We don't have the same sin. We don't have the same issues. So what I need to sober up on may not be what you need to sober up on. But we got to figure out what is intoxicating our life. What is causing us to sway and lose focus and not remember? What is taking over us? What is causing us to lose and be weak out here? What is causing us to be susceptible and vulnerable to attacks? Those are the things that we got we to gotta sober up on. Come on, y'all. Who's out there under attack? Who's been so loose in an area... Okay, they can fall under attack. We got to tighten up. What is intoxicating you right now? Hmm? What is taking over your, your mind and your wills and your emotions right now? That's the very thing that God wants you to sober up on. Tighten up on. Get some clarity on. Get by yourself. Get with God. Get some clarity. Meditate. Get some exercise then. Go for a walk. But then we got to sober it up. We got to get our feelings in check. Because it's ruining relationships. Your intoxicating behavior is ruining your relationships. You're crying and wondering why you're lonely. You're crying and wonder why things ain't working now. Because of your intoxicating behavior. Nobody wants that energy around them. Nobody wants to be around a falling over drunk and crazy person. Whether you're drunk and crazy in your feelings, you're drunk and crazy in your emotions, you're drunk and crazy in, 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 in the physical. Come on. Either way it goes, nobody want to be around that. Nobody want to see that. So let's tighten up, y'all. Let's tighten up. The enemy wants to catch us slipping. He wants us to be off balance so that we will be out here embarrassing ourselves, hurting people, doing wrong, because, and, and, and waking up the next day like, what, what, what happened? Hello? What happened? See, <laughs> what, what happened was, uh-uh, uh-uh, no, no, no. We need to cut it out. Let's get sober in this season, y'all. This is Resurrection Sunday. And this is not an eloquent, eloquent word. This is not a long, drawn-out word. It's, a, it's a impactful. It's sober up. This is your time. This is your season because God is trying to do something through you. And he needs for you to be sober. He needs for you to stand strong. He needs for you to be clear-headed because he needs for you to hear him when he speaks to you. He needs for you to recognize his voice. He needs for you to be able to move when he tells you to move. Go when he tells you to go. But if you drunk and if you intoxicated and you all in your feelings and your emotions and this thing and that thing, and he, then you ain't going to be able to hear when God speaks to you when is he is directing you as we speak he said i've been talking to people out here and they have not heard me because they've been so drunk in their feelings and their emotions and with wine and with drugs and and, and just and just with whatever things that is, that is not good and wholesome for them and he said stop it let's sober up you have a life that's when we only got one time around this thing don't spend your life in a cloud and in a fog. That's what the enemy wants. It's for you to stay defeated. You have greatness in you. It's time to be great. I have a video on that. The audacity to be great. If you ain't seen it, go find it. The audacity to be great. You have the audacity to put it, put it down and say, you know what? This is not, I can't deal with this. This is too heavy for me. These emotions is too much for me. I, I got to take control of that. Lord, help me to control myself. Help me to be able to see things clearly. Help me to be able to sober up in my mind and my spirit. Help me to be able to, to, to put this thing down that's not serving me. Help me to put this intoxicating behavior down that is not doing it, me any good. Help me, Lord, because I can't do this on my own. If I am to be sober, if I am to be vigilant, if I am to be strong, then I need to gather that strength from you, Lord, because without you, I am weak. Come on. Resurrection Sunday. Let's resurrect the strength 
okay, that is already inside of us. Let, let the Lord be resurrected inside of you on this day. Come on, let him stand strong. Remove yourself. Put yourself down and say, Lord, just stand up in me. I need a resurrection of you today. Come on, Resurrection Sunday. Let's resurrect the God in us. Let's resurrect our spirit. Let's reconnect with the Lord. If you ain't been with the Lord, if you ain't spoken to him in a long time, and maybe you ain't never spoken to him at all, it ain't got to be perfect. It don't have to be beautiful. Just start with your heart. Just let your heart flow. Resurrect them today on Resurrection Sunday. Pick your Bible up today and just open it up. Say, Lord, just give me a word and, and see if he don't give you a word. Come on. You might not like it, but you'll get a word. Resurrect. Resurrect sobriety in your life. Let's take it back to sobriety. Let's resurrect and be sober and vigilant so that we can make right decisions so we can be able to move forward and continue to go in the direction of the higher places in our life as we become in our highest best self. Let's sober up. Come on. Let's be vigilant. Let's be watchful. Let's make these right decisions. Come on crew. We out here. That's it. I mean, I, 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 I get no plainer than that, y'all, on this Resurrection Sunday. Okay? Y'all, yeah, we got to sober up. Let's take care of each other. Let's take care of our mental health. Let's look in the mirror and be honest with ourselves about what's going on in our lives, what we're feeling, what we're thinking, what is happening. Let's be real about that. Let's have real conversations. Let's sober up and have real conversations. Let's sober up and talk to one another honestly from our heart with love. I believe that we can say anything that we need to say to one another as long as we speak it in love. We speak the truth in love. Let love be the catalyst. It's Resurrection Sunday. I pray that you guys have a great day. I pray that you guys are cooking some good yummy food and the house is smelling all good and that and the kids are opening up their candies and that you just feel in the relaxing peace of the Lord. If you're there by yourself, then I pray that today is just relaxing for you. Just you and God. Find a good program to watch later. Listen to some word this morning, okay? And and, and just stay in God's peace. Sober up today, okay? If you're there in the house by yourself, sober up today. Don't be drunken in your feelings. Don't, don't ruin relationships because you got all in your feelings today. Sober up. Stay in sobriety. Let sobriety be your goal. Okay? God bless you. God bless you. Thank you so much for watching today. Thank you for connecting with me on our spiritual, our spiritual connection Sunday. Next week, guys, next week we are on something special. I got something special and planned for us. Um, God wants us to take it back to the basics because um, we got to make some changes in our lives, y'all. We get ready to make some serious changes, me and you, me and you. Me and you, we're going to make some changes, okay? So next week, stick around to Kiki's Critique. Thank you, guys. And uh, I love you. Mwah. Happy Resurrection Day. God bless you. Bye.